Hello to anybody watching, hope you're all doing okay. Uh, this is Greg here, uh, just to say, quick update. Uh, WD Beanie and I have been real busy on life things recently. We haven't had the opportunity due to our various schedules uh, to meet up and record as much as we'd like to. So uh, this, both this uh, discussion on the first Flash trailer and the Rise of the Beast trailer, which came out recently, were meant to go up way sooner, like much closer to when the the actual trailers uh, dropped. So this was meant to go up like round in February time, which it's not that, it's clearly not that time, as you can see. Uh, we just managed to crack Rise of the Beast trailer discussion just out in time for the movie, uh, but I, I just ran out of time on this one. So hence the limited visual element this time round. If you're watching, you probably know how life is. And we're just, well, yeah, we haven't got the greatest production team management schedule it's just us two we're doing what we can where we can um but yeah so that's the case for why this video is a little uh lower in production quality uh but that will not be the case going forward anyway hope you enjoy <laughs> All right. Oh. Do you know um, one of Freddie Mercury's better songs? Hmm? Brian May was also involved. Yeah. Noted war criminal Brian May. <laughs> um, God. So anyway, Flash. Oh. Savior of the DC franchise. They uh, sure want it to be. Yeah. <laughs> this movie has gone through a tumultuous time. Noted alleged criminal mm. Ezra Miller. Yeah. <laughs> Quite. Um, yeah. Leads the film as uh, Barry Allen. Twice? Mm -hmm. There are two Barry Allens? There are two versions of Barry Allen, and I wouldn't be surprised if another one shows up, oh. since this film is exploring different timelines. Good God. Almighty. Is it timelines, or is it alternate universes? So, with the Flash mm -hmm. and the Speed Force, it, it's pretty much always distinctively timelines. Yes. And not alternative... On, uh, bleh, bleh. Yes. That's all, folks. <laughs> alternative universes. That's what I thought, because that's what the Speed Force is about. And in Zack Snyder's Justice League, it's established that he re reverses time. Mm. But here it does seem to be dimension hopping. Mm. Which is it. Flash in the Multiverse of Mantis. <laughs> Quite, yeah. yeah. Or No Flash Home. But, um, <gasps> yeah. Yeah. God, what awful movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, and taking inspiration from them is The Flash. Yeah, the Flash, yeah. Which, uh, if it didn't have enough problems anyway... So we, we open with this trailer talking about multi timelines. I think it begins with, I can't remember. Like <laughs> I, 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 We I watched it like two minutes ago. <laughs> I can't remember how it opens, but early on, Ben Affleck is like, hey, don't you, don't you fuck with no timelines, Barry. Yeah. Why didn't you just stop him? That version of Batman would have killed Barry Allen for suggesting. That. He would, yeah. yeah. He's the Batman who threw a, bat a lethal batarang at his head, not knowing what his superpowers were. That is true, yeah. yeah. Unless Barry Allen's mother is also called Martha. He's dead. Yeah. That guy is <laughs> dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ignoring that uh, continuity error. Um, it's so weird looking at this trailer and thinking that, like, currently, yeah, this is still, like, the same universe as Batman v Superman. Yeah. It's just weird. That feels like such a meta line, isn't it? Barry's like, I can fix everything. And Batman's like, you could also break everything. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's like a very meta line. Adopts a new meaning, mm -hmm. unless it was shot after the fact. I bet it was. Probably, yeah. I think this film has gone through a lot of reshoots. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing. It, it certainly went through a new round of reshoots after Ezra Miller, you know, they, they, they wrangled them back under control. I, I bet at one point they must have just had some intern like oh, yeah. wear the Flash costume <laughs> with like um, a kind of green mask on. Yeah. That they were just going to deep fake some other actor onto at some point. Wouldn't shock me, because yeah. that was... That was surely one of their options at one point, that they were just going to deep fake Ezra Miller out of the movie. Well, this was something. when Ezra Miller was like going on that crime spree. Yeah. Yeah. In Hawaii. Quite, yeah. Which... Is it well, funny, but... No. It's a, like, it, yes. I mean, we're so far removed from it. Obviously, people suffered greatly, and they were an insane person doing terrible things, but... Yeah. Just, just saying the words, it is kind of so insane. It is kind of... Yeah. It becomes comical. It, it's hilarious that they banked on this franchise... Yes. This, this particular character carrying it forward. <laughs> like, not only the DC Universe, their biggest franchise, what, what could be their biggest franchise, yeah. but the character that, <laughs> the linchpin to reset the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, I like the Snyder stuff, and Barry Allen's by far the worst part of it. Y the, boy and how. The most annoying part of it. Worse than Joss Whedon. 
Yes. Like and you wanted to talk about brunch. Exactly. Because yeah. falling into Wonder Woman's crotch or cleavage. Cleavage, yeah. Whatever. And um Because that's a funny joke. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thank you, Joss, for saving cinema. <laughs> It's your trophy now. Go away. <laughs> you know, fuck off. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but it, it is weird. Like, we'll, we'll carry on with the trailer, but I also want to talk about the public reaction. Yeah. Because, well, and this is all anecdotal, mm. but what I've seen online about the Flash movie is heavily negative. Yeah. People, like, criticizing you, like, you, you cancel Batgirl, but you plow ahead. You uh, recast Henry Cavill, but you plow ahead with this movie with starring this person. Yeah. And everyone was clearly, like, giving it a hard time. And now the trailer has come out. Response to the trailer seems to be quite positive. That's and because of a certain element. Quite. But it's just so funny just going back and seeing these comments. Some will be from different people, but I imagine some will be from the same people. Like, this is actually really good. I always believed in the Flash. Maybe for why you did have it coming. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He, Ezra Miller is like Hawaii's Godzilla. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I love Godzilla now. <laughs> Every time I think something settled down, they just rise up out of the ocean to inflict more terrors. <laughs> I'm the Flash, motherfucker. <laughs> so this features two Barry Allens, mm. which is like my worst nightmare. I hate Barry Allen, and now there's two of the motherfuckers. Certainly this version of Barry Allen, yeah. yeah. And it seems to me, because the Flashpoint storyline is always, he goes back in time, he saves his mum. Yeah. Something goes horribly wrong. That's like, you know, the stepping on the caterpillar that triggers Armageddon. Yeah, yeah exactly. But usually in the story, he's the only Flash. And it appears in this version, he's created a timeline where there's a different version of him. Is it, like, obviously it's just a trailer, but is it like Endgame rules where it creates, like, one event creates a branching timeline? End, well, end game rules. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> They've all gone out the window. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Silly you. Silly me. Do you remember when we did our first podcast and we, you, we were explaining time travel to each other and you said to me, according to the Hulk. <laughs> it just held a Hulk. According to the Hulk. Time travel. <laughs> Man, go here. <laughs> anyway, that's all gone out the window. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's that. We've had our like flash reset moment from. from yeah, that. we, we yeah. had our own flash paradox. Yes, yeah. um, but I I don't know much about Flashpoint. I just know it's like a very popular, influential Flash storyline. Yeah, but it is it's, good. There have been quite there have been two decent anim, uh, adaptations. Yeah, I hear the animated movie is really good. It is it, really good, and it's got that great meme. Yeah, where um the negative Flash reverse, reverse Flash. Reverse flash. Yeah explains that he is the reason and any bad thing that happened in Barry's life he's responsible for which just spawned a bunch of memes I haven't seen those memes like when when you <laughs> somebody like re, I think somebody revoiced it <laughs> and it was like when you made out with that girl and came immediately it was me Barry <laughs> I rubbed you off at super speed <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a lot of things came out. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm going to have to yeah. look those up. Well, that was kind of the gist of the monologue. <laughs> sure, yeah. And um, there was the TV show version, <laughs> which was um, okay. For sure, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Grant Gus. <sighs> I can't believe they adapted Flashpoint. Into Actually, it was nine seasons long. I can absolutely believe they adapted Flashpoint. It was. I think it was only in the third season they did it. Really? Yeah. What did, they, what did you do after Flashpoint? <laughs> I can't remember what they did after anything. Yeah. The first season was great. Mm-hmm. Well... About eight episodes in the first season were great. How many were there? 24. <laughs> 22, sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so so uh, 35% of the first season was great. It was great. Okay. The rest was okay. Sure, okay. And then um, then the show suddenly ended. Mm, right. Mm. No more episodes. Well, some people will tell you it went on for about 20 more seasons. <laughs> Inexplicably. Those people are rotten bastard liars. Some will tell you that between the time it took for the show to start and this movie to come out, it was running the entire time. Yeah. I don't want to name any names, hmm. but Brian May may, <laughs> have, may have suggested taking Flash to season nine. Did he really? No, of course he was. Okay, I was going to say. Like, I don't think he was involved. It's the most inexplicable thing I've ever heard. He takes credit for other shit that he's not involved with. I mean, I guess so, but you really don't want to play a Brian May rant today, aren't you? I, it's every time he comes up. Yeah. Even if I'm the only one who brings him up. I was going to say, yeah, yeah. But um, so we have this trailer. Yes. Which we need to talk about at some point. Wait, we should probably get to. Uh, Tim Burton's Batman shows up. Which is, that was like the big, you know, marketing push that they were banking on for this movie. Yeah. Was having Michael Keaton back as Batman. Which 
which is fine. You know, he's clearly he's clearly old. He's clearly an old man in the bat suit. Well, in the yeah. um, in the normal Flashpoint story, it's Batman's dad. Yes, yeah. yeah, who's like a killer, and the mother's the Joker usually in those stories. Yeah, so obviously the woman would go insane. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. You no. can't have a woman be Batman. That's silly. No, don't be ridiculous. Yeah, what would you call it, Batwoman? No, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> you get a movie. If they made a movie out of it, it'd just be cancelled. Yeah, yeah. yeah so Mike, Michael Keaton shows up and he turns around. Yep, and he and, says the thing, and he has an expression on his face that I can only describe as the kind of face you pull if you fart in an elevator. <laughs> And you're kind of proud of it. <laughs> kind of know? mild amusement. Yeah. <laughs> and then they cut to him doing all these weird dynamics. Yeah. Like it's an Arkham City game. Which is very weird because that's not how he's... Like, obviously, technical limitations at the time. But we've never yeah. seen that Batman move like that before. No. And what I loved about that version of Batman is that he wasn't flexible. Yeah. Like, whenever he'd turn, he'd had to do a full body turn because of the suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of something scary about that. Yeah, that's something I liked from this trailer. Yeah. So, to go back to our favourite movie, Spider-Man No Way Home. Yes, uh, the world-famous Spider-Man into the No Way Home. Yeah, everyone's favourite movie. Still in cinemas now. People are always watching it, 24-7. Uh, yeah. Um, but in that movie, when the two Spider-Men show up, yeah. when they're talking, they only talk about things that we've seen on screen in the movies. Like in, like, the Spider-Man trilogy. There's no, they don't reference, like, anything that happened afterwards. Yeah. Whereas here, we see, like, flashes of, like, other bat suits which imply other adventures at this. Yeah. Uh, it, it shows like, you know, he was clearly after, from when we last saw him, he's been up to other things, yeah, which that, is quite cool. That is kind of neat. Yeah. Do you think there'll be a scene where um, the flashes stand around for five minutes and, and it's poorly lit and they complain about the backache? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually no, because there wasn't a, well, what, what, were there any memes that came from the flash show? Um, there's that one shot of um, Grant Gustin over the Green Arrow's grave, where he's kind of doing this. Like this is that Grant Gustin? That's, that Grant, Gu that's Grant Gustin, yeah. Oh, I had no idea yeah, that yeah, was yeah. him. That's yeah. great. I, that's, I love Grant Gustin. I wish he was the Flash. Yeah. Yeah. Would, do you think... Because Ezra Miller's not going to be the Flash after this movie. Yeah. I will put bet my balls on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God, Ezra Miller, please don't be the Flash. <laughs> uh, but do you think at the end they're going to... Are they going to, like, reveal a recast of The Flash? And if so, do you think it'll be Grant Gustin? You know what? I'm not sure. Um, I think what they'll do is they'll kind of keep it open-ended and they won't have a decisive Flash. Hmm. They might just... That might be the way they end the Snyderverse. Hmm. With, like, that's the last thing we see. <laughs> Ezra Miller kidnaps a woman. <laughs> that's the last thing we see. It's just archive footage from real life. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> Just him getting arrested. Like. Yeah, the flash really went off the deep end. <laughs> um, no, I don't. I don't because there hasn't been a flash movie or a project announced by James Gunn. No, so that tells me that he's not really in the works. He's not in the plans. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I think they'll just leave it as it is. I, I think that's probably wise. I think they'll do it with the same thing with Aquaman as well. Yes, a Aquaman will come out and it will never be addressed again. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, like, because James Gunn in his DC announcement, he did say that the Flash was going to be, like, the reset point. Yeah. And it was going to be a reset point to a different universe than what was intended at the time. But Aquaman 2 but is coming out. After the Flash. Yeah. But, J okay, Jason Momoa said that he's still on board for future DC projects, but he didn't say Aquaman. No. And everyone's thinking it's going to be Lobo. But if Aquaman's still coming out, then... What's the point? <laughs> yeah, that is that is odd, yeah. Yeah. It's it it he's come in. Hmm. Like it I think it happens with a lot of projects on this scale. Yeah. Like if you're a football club manager and you come into a new club, you've got to kind of deal with all the players that are already there. Yeah. Kind of thing and make it work, even if it's not even if they don't suit your style of play. Right, yeah. I feel like maybe he's just gotta kind of fit things in. Movie wise, probably yeah. yeah. Well, it's like in Aquaman, like Jason Momoa said that he's filmed a scene in that movie with Ben Affleck as Batman mm. and with Michael Keaton as Batman, and he's not sure which one they're going to use. <laughs> it's a mess. I know, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, who's to say how this is going to pan out yeah. in the future? Do you think? Here's a question I have: Supergirl is in this movie. I saw that. Yeah, played by Sasha Kelly, I think her name is. Yeah. Uh. We're getting a Supergirl movie in the James Gunn era. Yeah. Think they'll keep her? 
Probably. Yeah. I think it'd be weird to bring... From what I'm aware of these kind of contracts, when they sign somebody to a superhero role, yeah, it's for multiple projects. Usually, and yeah. It's, it's in rare circumstances where those contracts kind of get cut. Yeah, yeah, but it's this is a rare circumstance in most other regards. So I, it is, but I, I don't think it's that rare where they're just going to get rid of things. General Zod's in this movie. He is, yeah. Oddly, he's in this. Movie. I guess he's the main villain again. <laughs> <laughs> that is so lame. That's really weird. Yeah, it's, it's kind of Michael Shannon was. He's one of my favorite parts of Man of Steel. <laughs> I will find him. I will find him. So I guess the idea is like you know you mess around with time and bad shit's happening and. Yeah, I guess... Yeah, well, where are they going with this? So I guess they're just going to recreate... <laughs> they're just recreating Man of Steel, it seems. DC, EU, phase one, where are we going with this? <laughs> yeah, that's what it seems like they're doing. They're just doing that movie again. But with Supergirl and two Batman. Uh, but usually at the end of Flashpoint, the timeline resets again to something slightly... De- it's like be- decent, but slightly different. Yeah, well, we get that shot of the two, the two Flashes... Uh, you know, feet pressed against each other and then they bounce off and create two energy beams. I thought I wonder that if that's was reverse flash. Well, uh, actually, that comes back to something I was going to ask earlier. Yeah. The second Barry Allen, do you think that's going to be reverse flash? Oh, I hope not. No? Maybe, actually. Yeah, I just, since you mentioned reverse flashes in Flashpoint, yeah. and there aren't usually two Barry Allens, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a reverse flash origin story. It could be, actually, yeah. That, yeah. yeah, but you'd have to keep Ezra Miller. I, but I, only I, for this film. Okay, if, well, if it's a reverse Flash origin story, surely that implies reverse Flash is going to turn up again. Uh, you get rever- you get origin stories for villains who die in the same movie. Marvel I does that all the time. I suppose, yeah. yeah. What do you think this film's going to be? Good, bad, indifferent? <sighs> yes, no, Okay, maybe. so I thought, as a trailer, I thought it was actually surprisingly quite good. But all the trailers but, for these things have been good. Yeah. I can't muster up genuine enthusiasm because of Ezra Miller. <laughs> Which is, you know, I know it's just one thing and other people have worked on this movie. but And also, like, the DC shit show that's been going on for these last few years. Yeah. This is kind of like, you know, <laughs> this is kind of like, you know, the diamond that's been hardened at the center of it. Or, <laughs> but it's a diamond made of just garbage. Yeah. So I, don't, I wouldn't be surprised if it came out and people were like, it's a good movie. Yeah. But it also because it's like the end of this era that was so, so mixed. Yeah. Like, so, like some good things and some bad things. It's just hard to muster up the excitement. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Um, in conclusion, I don't think we care. <laughs> it's it's just so hard to, because like it's being treated as like this big, you know, like one of the big event movies of the year and a defining moment in DC film history. James Gunn described it as one of the best comic book movies he has ever seen. Yeah. Which I think is a bold faced lie. <laughs> I think so. Frankly. He's gotta he's gotta promote these things because he can't yeah, be like he is the he is the president of the company. <laughs> You've got these four movies coming out before like all of his stuff that we get yeah. to. He's yeah. not gonna be like, Yeah, you can forget about them because yeah. they still wanna make money on them. But I think they'll obviously still use Blue Beetle. Because Blue Beetle is so separate. Yeah. And it's like the start of a new thing and it's in its own corner. They probably will bring that over. Yeah. They're doing a Booster yeah. Gold TV show as well and they go together. So. Well, hang, what are the other projects that are coming up for James Gunn? So it's Aquaman, this, Blue Beetle and... Aquaman, Flash, Blue Beetle and Shazam 2. Shazam could carry over. I feel like whatever makes money now, mm. what James Gunn will be told, we've got to kind of keep this by, yeah. by the higher-ups. So I think Blue Beetle is staying. Blue Beetle, even if Blue Beetle isn't that successful, I'm sure they'll... Keep it. Yeah. Unless it's a horrible movie, but I... Unless it's a truly god-awful movie. Yeah. Um, the Flash is gone. Ezra Miller is gone, rather, no yeah. matter what happens now. Exactly. Like, they, they, they have been saying... that What Peter Safran, <laughs> the other co-head of DC at the moment, has been saying is that Ezra is currently getting the help that they need and that they're <laughs> on the path to recovery. And that if things go well, they might be allowed to stick around as the Flash. That is absolute bollocks. <laughs> I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say... A week or two after the movie comes out, they're announcing they're done. What's the name of that guy? Peter Safran. So he's on stage and he's like, don't worry, folks. They're, they're getting the help they need. And we cut to Ezra Miller being beaten up by security. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a, it's a Simpsons reference. That is, yeah, 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 yeah. That's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw you laugh when I said get in the help with me. <laughs> yeah. so, but Ezra Miller is definitely gone. Yeah, like a week or two after the, this movie comes out, whatever the reception is, whatever money they make, yeah. they're going to be like, yeah, they're not coming back. I this is just PR spin so that people can go see the movie. I completely agree with you. Um Shazam, I think it depends on the money. I think they'll keep Adam Sandberg no matter what. I think Adam, he, he directs the Shazam. Oh, the movie. Oh, yeah. Like he's a great director. Yeah, I think I think he's well liked there as well. So, and Aquaman is gonna stay. He's sticking around one way or another. J- Jason Momoa is not gonna be fucking Lobo. Be real. If, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, you look at the comic book Lobo, and you look at Jason Momoa. <laughs> No. Nah. It's, it's like Jason Momoa cosplaying as the crow is what Lobo looks like. Nah, that, no. I, I'm not saying it wouldn't be... A, it's just... It's an uninspired cast for a start, I think. It's so fucking confusing. <laughs> like, you can't have him be both. That's no. the thing. So if he's going to stay as Aquaman, he can't also be... Lo- so what's going to happen at the end of Aquaman? Where would you even fit him in as Lobo? I don't know. Is he going to be in the Swamp Thing I, movie? <laughs> all I know about Lobo is that people say Jason Momoa would have been a good casting choice for him, but I don't know if he's a, a villain or a hero who he's in relation to. He's like an anti-hero. He's, he's an alien who blew up his planet and he regenerates. Okay. He's, he's a biker. He's a drunk biker. <laughs> he's a drunk space biker. Right. I've always thought he was really fucking lame. He sounds like someone's OC. <laughs> He is somebody's OC, basically, yeah. I guess all comic book characters are somebody's OC, but you know what I'm... Yeah, yeah no, he does sound like um, OC Donut Steel kind of thing. Yeah, you right, know, yeah. Yeah, you know, like Lobo the Hedgehog, kind of. <laughs> yeah, like maybe it'll be a fun movie, but not, not going to see it. No. Unless it's unfathomably great, like people say it's one of the best movies of the year. Not even for I- Michael Keaton? I mean, Michael. If Michael Keaton is a good Batman, but yeah, I mean, Warner Brothers has just been an absolute dog's dinner at the moment. Yeah, and I don't know. And on that happy note, <laughs> we want you to have a good day and um, avoid the movie if you can. Yeah. Thanks for meeting me, Black Adam. I've been reading about you. I'm not sure how I got here. It has to do with Spider Man, I think. I'm still figuring this place out, but. I think a bunch of guys like us should team up, do some good. It doesn't matter what you think.